Welcome to another episode of the Piano Ninja Tricks podcast. Hi, I'm Lisa Spector, your Piano Ninja, here to make everything easier for you at the piano so you sound like a Piano Ninja. Wow, has it been a fun week. I gave a Chopin Ninja Tricks masterclass this week and it was for members of my Piano Ninja Tricksters Club where members learn twice as much in half the time and invited guests. If you missed it, no problem. You get a chance to watch the replay for a limited time. So sign up for free and you will have access to the replay till this coming Monday night. And I am in this episode here, instead of playing for you live during this recording, I'm actually going to invite you to about a six minute segment of that master class and I'm using the middle section of the E major scherzo to demonstrate where to add Chopin rubato, what it is, where to add it, when we're not to add it, where to add what I call Chopin pedal which has a lot of variety and a lot of contrast to it, where not to add it, where to as we talked about last time, making long notes longer and short notes shorter, where to do that, where not to do that. So I think you'll get a good taste of many of the Chopin Ninja Tricks in this. So I invite you to watch that and then start to apply that to the Chopin that you're working on. However, make sure you listen to the end of it because I talk about the importance of don't take all of these Chopin Ninja Tricks and apply them all at once. That's what's going to slow down your progress. What's going to speed up your progress is taking one at a time and getting really comfortable with that one until you don't have to think about it anymore and then add the second. And then you're really comfortable with those two and you don't have to think about it anymore. Then you add the third. That's how progress is made faster. So I just had such a great response. If everyone listened, just loved this Chopin Ninja Tricks Masterclass. They told me it's my thing. I need to be doing more Chopin, which I'm planning on doing. And we'll develop this out to a full course too. But for now, it's it's a, a one hour masterclass you get to enjoy for free. So link below, enjoy, and I will see you there. Thanks. And so first time is very straightforward. I didn't mean to do that. Now with the second time I'm going to use a little more rubato. This is a Rubinstein note, not mine. Chopin wrote the D sharp twice, Rubinstein. And I just love it. And more time. Now I'm going to st um, see. It starts to develop. So you'll hear, I don't do too much uh, change in the rhythm of the left hand, but just a little bit, hold and move. Take, now 
time. We have a surprise chord. I'm going to take a lot of time. And I'm going to play this really dreamy and free. This would be so boring if it were like this. I don't do that. So I make it very free with some movement. Okay, this is where I want to talk about pedal. So I use flutter. So there's pedal. I talk about this all the time. Pedal is not an on-off switch. It's like a dimmer switch. There's a million degrees between on and off. There's there's all the way down. There's halfway down. There's a quarter way down. There's first quarter way down. There's three quarters ways down. There's slow pedal. We'll have a different sound than fast pedal. There's and there's so many degrees. And then there's flutter pedal. And then there's flutter pedal. What I'm doing in this, you'll hear in this section, I am flutter. Like here's the bottom of the pedal. Let's say my pedal goes down to here. So I start to flutter here. And as it goes on, I flutter more towards the top. So it gets clearer and clearer as the sound goes on. So really listen to this section carefully. So by the time I get there, it's like a breath of fresh air. It's so clean because it's just that note. That is a very advanced tech trick. If you're not ready for that, don't worry. It'll come later. But it's really, really fun when you get there and do it one more time and then play on. And I'll show you what my foot is doing. And I'm slowly lifting. So it's like we have a lot of sound and then it's gradually released so you don't hear this anymore. And then I'm not using pedal. And then uh, until I am. Now, this is the last time, so I'm gonna play this pianissimo and a little slower. to move. An inner voice. Again, I'm holding the pedal that I'm gradually slowly releasing. So you, those are pretty advanced techniques, but when you're ready for them, you can apply that to pretty much any slow Chopin theme. 